Welcome back to Liam Cam. Shibby! I've done that one in a while. I'm joking. I reckon. <laughs> I haven't actually, to be fair. Um, with Sam today. Shibby! What time is it? It's 10.41 on a Friday morning. And we're going to the doctor's to check my leg out. Um, Gym got, <laughs> yeah, the gym got. No, no, I was gonna say because the oh, gym. Sorry, sorry, do you want to say that? No, no, it's sound. I'm, I'm, okay. They're listening. But yeah, but it's you know it gets a bit rambly if you don't do retakes. <laughs> I'm not retaking it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's like the best one you've got. That's the best we're getting today. Yeah, all right. Exactly. The gym got well. The gym next gen. I coach the next gen. Paul got me in contact with uh, a doctor, so I'm gonna go see him, and he's to diagnose my leg. Um, hopefully we can sort that out and um, be one step closer into figuring out what's actually up with my leg. And we are, we're supposed to be getting there, so I'm supposed to be there at 11, we're targeted to be there at 10.57 and right now it's 10.43 but Sam thinks he's gone the wrong way. Do you reckon we'll get there in time Sam? It's only a 15 minute slot. 15 minutes. He works fast, this guy. Short but sweet, Liam. Short but sweet, right. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> So a lot of people have been talking about the uh, upcoming fight in Imperial Muay Thai um, between Ten Dog, Zach Tenner, and uh, Harry the Beast Newman. Nah, it's not called the Beast, is it? What are we going to call Harry? Harry the, the Ginge Minge. Harry the Ginge Minge Newman. That's better. Um, and you know, like, I'm kind of here and there. I, I think. I think mean, it's going to be quite the fight, Sam. What are your predictions for this fight? Well, Newman has the experience advantage, but Tenor takes the height and weight advantage. So That's true. it's the old young young bull versus old the old old dog. Young buck, buck, yeah. Versus the old dog, the old dog scenario. Dog. Uh, we will be putting a poll up on Instagram. We will be doing that. Uh, the poll's going up. Fighter IQ for both fighters is significantly low. <laughs> <laughs> they put all the points into movement. <laughs> I said that, I just drove into a tunnel with my shades on, I'm wondering why it was dark. <laughs> I hate it. So, bearing in mind, Harry just... I don't like that camera. Harry just found out that he was fighting, uh, I think, two, three days ago. Um, I don't think he really wants to fight. I don't think he wants to get in there, but <laughs> I think... Well, he didn't agree to it. <laughs> he didn't say yeah to fight. He never, but... never once said yeah, he didn't agree at all. But he didn't say no. And Zach, Zach's up for it. Zach was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to smash him up. We've been hyping it up for a couple of weeks, me and Sam. Who would win? Out of Harry and Zach. Who would win? That's a great question. I mean, who do you think? I heard of good authority that Zach said that he'll beat Harry. Not easy, but said they'll be him. What do you think? Not happen. <laughs> call, out, call him out. Two rounds. Two, Two rounds. rounds. Shit, it's what going on. Any, um, any words for the fans? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> to Harry. You can have a nice clean round. It's going to be fun. Who's going to win, Zach? Uh, no. <laughs> um, you know, I think it really started when Zach thought he could take Harry. Who's gonna win, Zach? No. <laughs> now he's like, no, you can't. And then escalated through. Now, ding, ding, ding. They're doing free freeze, aren't they? We set off 20 minutes early, and we've still not made it on time because it's three minutes till I'm supposed to be there. And it is one minute till I'm supposed to be there. So it's scheduled for 11, it's 10.59. And the Google Maps took us around the world. 
and now we're gonna be late, I reckon. So, that's not good. This isn't good. Um, hopefully Mr. Doctor's okay with it. We'll see. I never met him before. Hopefully, hopefully it's all cool. Fucking hot box and this car, mate. Um, when the doctor's then, Sam waited in the car park. I went in, met Mr. Doctor. Forgot to get his name, actually, to be fair. No, I don't think I got his name. He knew my name, which is worse. Anyway, he did some checks on me. Um, got me doing a few things, poked around, and then said that it's um, bruising of the bone and potentially muscle, so it's not, it's not, a, not a hematoma, it's not a break. It's, a break. it's, it's that, so um, he was saying it should be fine, as long as I don't get kicked in the leg um, more and more that'll make it go worse and he was saying the ibuprofen's cool if it really hurts which we did speak about CBD oil great and um, he was telling me to do some water therapy I was like but Mr. Doctor what's water therapy and he was saying that it is very good for bruised muscles and um, swelling and stuff like that if it's cooler water but he was like just go swimming and just like go around in the war and he said honestly you wouldn't believe what that would do for you so looks like I'm getting my swimming trunks on and going Victoria and they've got a little bubble a little bubble bit as well which might be good jacuzzi. and I'll be like listen Tegan listen I'm I'm doing therapy right now and actually I'll just be in a little, little pool having fun but it is actually therapy so how good's that? Gym doctor Gym doctor Jim's actor.